I'm here Ooh, in Riverside, California. Ooh, with the one and only you, Ratberry. Now, is Ratberry your first name, your last name, or is it like a Beyonce thing where it's like more of a title? Yeah, kind of like just vibe. Just vibe. Okay. Where did Ratberry come from? So Ratberry actually goes back to fourth grade. I was in elementary school at recess. A bunch of my friends were just hanging out, drawing each other as fruits as a fourth grader does. One of my friends drew me as a raspberry and I was the only person who listened to hip hop at the time. So I was Ratberry. <laughs> And I actually have the original drawing still. Man, that's the origin story right there. That happened, I forgot to say. A year later, when I got an Instagram, I made my Instagram Ratberry. And it's been that ever since. I think Ratberry is here to stay, honestly. I, I can't imagine changing it to anything else. It's just who I am. Now, I wanna ask you, your hair seems like almost a staple of your brand. Would you say you get recognized just based off of your hair alone? I would say yes. Sadly, yes. You don't like the hair? Are you planning on cutting it or? It's a hassle sometimes. I have to do a lot of this a lot of the times. Yeah, it's just a lot to keep up. But honestly, oh well. You're a photographer and I've heard you explain your photography as experimental portraiture. Could you explain what that is? Yeah, so pretty much how I explain my work as Mr. Jake said, was experimental portraiture and I really like taking photos that really surround the idea of experimental concepts mixed with unique light and really punchy color. And I like doing this with other artists through a collaborative vision. And so that looks like spending five or six hours in a studio setting, messing around with colors, light, anything random, and just trying to figure out something, but also with intention. And so making sure that every piece of light, every color, is used for a certain reason so that it can make the story stand out even a little bit more. My man, he knows his stuff. <laughs> he knows his stuff. You have some really cool per personal projects. I guess you could call them passion projects that you've done. Finding Beauty and recently your book Grow. You want to even show him the book? Here very, it is. Very cool. What inspired you to go out and do more than what's required of you as a photographer? Why do these um, passion projects? The important, the importance of passion projects, it's something that I learned when I came to CBU. And honestly, when you do photography as a job for so long, it starts to become boring, I guess, and draining and not as fun. And you start to forget like why you started in art in the first place. And I think passion projects really like help yourself sort of remember the reasons of why you started in the first place and then on top of that like it allows me to sort of talk about subjects in a sort of unique and creative way that people don't really look at those topics so grow for example this pretty much talks about the idea that we're all growing in some shape or form no matter how old we are and I share that by pictures and by book and so hopefully when people see this book they can begin to see the growth in everyone and hopefully have more grace for people he's so passionate about this okay and talk to me about finding beauty i know um specifically you didn't post your photos on instagram for a good while at least what was your thought process behind that yeah i think with any sort of personal project i do i want to make sure that i display it the right way i think when someone views another person's art the very first time that they see it is very crucial to how it will affect them whether that's emotionally or either way how you display your work is very important and so when i do a personal project i want to make sure that I'm doing that correctly and not just posting it on Instagram and it just doesn't get caught up in a scroll. Instagram is very oversaturated these days. There's a lot of people out there trying to be photographers. Do you support that? People just picking up a camera and going for it? Or what would you recommend for those starting out, I guess, in photography? Oh yeah, if you wanna pick up a camera, go ahead, 100%. I would not be where I am today if I didn't have that feeling of just wanting to go shoot. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, everyone starts somewhere. And so it's like, if you're not good, I guess, when you start, like who cares, just keep shooting. It's supposed to be fun in the beginning, so. We're actually in a dark room right now, which is really cool. You are just telling me you actually helped put this together. Is shooting film more of a hobby for you or does it translate into your work or? So I started shooting film about a year ago, honestly now, consistently. So in the beginning of 2020, I learned how to develop and scan and print and all that, all my stuff analog, before it was sort of a way to just 
relearn how to have fun with photography, but now I've sort of learned how I can incorporate that into my personal work and have it make sense of why I'm using it. So my new book, Grow, was all shot on film and I did this because I wanted the photos to have a sort of nostalgic feeling so that people could hopefully connect a little bit more. And so film does that. We actually met shooting a concert, Social Club in fact. You actually have worked with Social Club. What is it like working with bigger name artists, Montel Fish, Taylor Armstrong? It's sick. Yeah, my very first concert, like apart from shooting a concert, the very first concert that I ever went to was a Social Club concert. And so the fact that years later, like six years later, I was like shooting with them and going backstage and then like eventually shooting an album cover, it was insane. Like I, I'm so still like you. So what do you like about live music? Like what gets you like pumped about it? Um, I think how like organic it is. Like every, like people can just like start singing a random song. Like the artist can just hop into a different song like randomly or like do it to a different beat of music or something like that. And it's just very connecting like between the artists and the people working the concert and the audience. Like it all just feels like very connected and just personal. What project are you most proud of or who have you enjoyed shooting for the most within music? Ooh. Working with Taylor was really cool. Taylor Armstrong, that project was super tight. Yeah, the, that whole project was just like so much planning and like discussing meaning and like why we were doing what we were doing. But yeah, that's probably one of my favorite like projects I've done. When you're working with artists, say shooting a cover for instance, are you listening to the music beforehand? Right when an artist comes to me asking for like single artwork or album artwork, one of the first things I'll ask them is if they can send me the project. I wanna make sure, like we are just creating something that visually represents the music that you are trying to release. In order to do that, I need to feel the same things when I'm making the work as I am when I'm listening to their work. Now, what I love to ask creatives is, why do you do what you do? Um, well, I started it because it was fun, but now I think like over time, I've gained more and more reasons for why I wanna do this. And I think one of the main reasons is that God gave me like sort of, he gave me, I guess, gifts. And I think it would be selfish of me not to do that in hopes of bringing glory more to him. One of the reasons why I shoot with a lot of like Christian artists or artists who are trying to do the same thing and glorify the Lord is because I want to showcase good art or help make good art that glorifies God. Just cause I mean, there used to not be a lot of it and now there's starting to be on that rise. And it's definitely one of my motivations. Where do you see your work going in the future? What do you hope to accomplish through your photography? More books and galleries. That's honestly what I want to do. Touring's cool, you know, album covers are cool. I definitely want to do more of that. Hopefully we can tour again soon. But ideally, like, books and galleries is where I really see my work. Yeah, that's good. RIP to the concerts though. We miss you, we miss you. RIP. All right, we're gonna kick it off with a speed round. Why are Sweet Tarts ropes the best candy on the face of the planet? They're just nice. He's so right. I got some in my car. I can go get some oh right my. now. What is a book that everyone should read? Ooh, Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A1. You could also read uh, Redberry's new book. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Grow by Raymond Alva, yeah. What is an album everyone should listen to? Ooh, um, Clarity by Andy Mino. Overrated or underrated? Canes. <sighs> I used to say overrated, then I went to college. Underrated now. Riverside. Ooh, underrated. Riverside's nice. Okay. Riverside is so hype. Like, come on. Born and raised, 951 till I die. But the weekend's halftime performance. Ooh, I, I was very underwhelmed, honestly. Mm. I wanted to root for it. I'm a big fan of After Hours. I was following all the music videos, all the performances, but I was expecting more. Mm. What is the best part about going to college? Ooh, the community. Mm. Like that sounds kind of basic, but like, it's true. Some of my best friends I met here, so. How about the worst part? Classes, mm. the school part. <laughs> so if we just went to college and didn't do the school part, then it would be. That'd be nice. Last question I got. If you were to pull up YouTube and it goes on your recommended videos, what would be five videos that come up? WandaVision episode six theory video. Escape video with Nigel Houston. Mm -hmm. Probably a Montel Fish vlog and probably like a How It's Made video or something like that. Yeah. Was that four? And, and uh, uh, Jake Driscoll vlog. We like that. 
thanks so much for being on the tiny little interview today. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. We'll see you guys soon.